Uh, so in this section we're just going to talk about how to do a spotlight count. Um, you can do a spotlight count either a walked transect or from a vehicle. So in terms of a walked transect, you would do that where you can't drive. Um, so it can be done just about anywhere. Using a handheld torch is the easiest way. And what you want to do with that is sweep from side to side wherever you can and count as many rabbits as you can see. The same principle applies to doing a spotlight count from a vehicle. Uh, whether you do it from the back of the vehicle or from the cabin of the vehicle, you want to be able to sweep. Uh, if you're on the back from side to side and then if you're sitting in the seat, obviously you just want to sweep out the window and count as many rabbits as you can see. You need to make sure that when you walk the transect or drive the transect, you're doing the same transect three nights in a row and it's the same person doing the count every night. That means that there's some consistency in counting rabbits and identifying rabbits. Make sure that you travel at a slow and consistent speed, preferably no faster than 15 kilometres per hour. Uh, the ideal is somewhere between 10 and 12. If you're going to do a driven transect, then your transect needs to be at least one kilometre long, uh, preferably longer. Um, but the minimum requirement is one kilometre in length and it should try and cover at least 25% of the area that you are surveying. The best time to undertake a spotlight count, whether walked or by vehicle, is approximately half an hour after sunset. That's the time when rabbits are most active. The later you wait, the more likely the rabbits are to go back into their warren. Uh, they have times where they come in and come out, so you want to make sure that you're counting your rabbits when they're at their most active. So undertaking a walked transect, you need to sweep the torch from side to side, counting the number of rabbits that you see. And make sure that as you sweep the torch, you also move your head in line with the beam so that you can actually see the rabbits, particularly when they look back at you. And you'll see red eye shine from the rabbit. You won't see the eye shine if you're not looking in the direction of the beam of the torch. When you've finished your counts, you then submit your data through the RabbitScan app or on the website using the uh, report citing function. Upload each of the counts from each of your three nights into the app and then submit that data.